Welcome to the Gadsden Art Center and Museum and our 32nd Art in Gadsden Regional Exhibition of Fine Art. The 32nd Art in Gadsden Exhibition is a perfect reflection of what the Gadsden Art Center and Museum stands for. The Art in Gadsden Exhibition is a community enterprise and it always has been from all of the artists who participate every year. We're so grateful for their enthusiasm and participation and the quality of work that they send us to all the sponsors who underwrite the costs and the awards for the exhibition, to all of our Gadsden Art Center and Museum members and donors, to our staff, again, who are so dedicated in doing high quality work um, on an ongoing basis. The Art and Gadsden exhibition normally features a huge opening reception, which people really enjoy. And unfortunately, this year, we're unable to safely do that, but we're so excited to bring people together in new and different ways, and we hope you'll take advantage of all of that. The history of Gadsden Arts and the Art and Gadsden exhibition are closely intertwined, and this exhibition itself is such a reflection of our organization. Um, back when the exhibition began in 1989, an all-volunteer crew put the exhibition together and hosted it in an empty storefront, and over four successive years, carried on this tradition from year to year with the help of Quincy Main Street. In 1994, the exhibition was so popular and so well supported by the community that the Gadsden Art Center and Museum was founded to become a year-round venue for fine visual arts for the community. The exhibition itself is exciting because you'll see a mix of artists from long-time professional level, um, super accomplished artists like Harris Wiltshire, who's there on the back wall with his two prints. He was our Best in Show award winner in last year's Art in Gadsden, to an artist who's new to us this year, like April Fitzpatrick, whose work is hanging right next to Harris's. And you'll learn more again about the work from our curator, Angie Berry. Hi, I'm Angie Berry, and I am so excited to share with you our 32nd annual Art in Gadsden this year. Even though this year has been a little bit challenging, we are so thankful for our local and regional artists who submitted over 200 works of art to be reviewed and scored this year. We are excited to share so many different types of mediums and uh, styles and artists. We have professional artists who do this year round to emerging and new artists, and we have all types of mediums, a range of styles and mediums. We have sculpture, we have paintings, we have mixed medias, we have printmaking, we have enamels, glass, all types of different fiber. And it's really exciting to see what types of artwork our local artists are creating. So this year, our exhibition committee was tasked with the um, job of reviewing and scoring all the submissions that came in. And we took the top 91, top, top, scoring pieces, and those are going to be presented to our awards judge. Our juror this year for Art and Gadsden was Katie Dietz. She is the executive director of Florida Craft Art, which is a wonderful organization down in St. Petersburg, Florida, that supports our local and regional craftspeople throughout the state. And she got the difficult and challenging task of selecting the award winners, best in show, first, second, and third, and honorable mentions. It was a little bit different this year because she had to review everything online, and then we did a Zoom call through so she could look at all of the artwork kind of in person and see the presence and the um, scale of the artwork uh, as we go around the gallery. So that was challenging, but also exciting this year to try something different. We also have a wonderful variety of mediums this year, from mixed media to glass, metal, ceramic, watercolor, all kinds of different fiber and enamel. It's been really exciting to see what our local artists have pulled out uh, this year for Art in Gadsden. And I hope you'll be able to come and see it in person and join us um, online. There's an overall of the gallery. And I guess we can start with the, uh, the awards now. One of the things that uh, we've all studied was uh, the Flemish Lindbergh brothers who did the illuminated Gothic manuscripts because this really had the feeling to me of a Lindbergh brothers um, Gothic manuscript. And it, but yet it's done with a contemporary uh, Florida themed subject matter. The next one um, is Cavallino. It's like a little pony. And when I saw it, um, both in the original picture and then in the gallery, it just seemed to me like 
a little horse running through the pasture with its hair blowing in the wind. So that doesn't really give the feeling of something hard and solid like steel. The next piece is a wood turn piece by Walter Wager. And uh, it, it's a beautifully wood turned um, vessel with a sort of a lighter wood. I think that it's interesting how the bottom of the piece is has a lot of weight to it and it's um, is visual weight. This piece I found very interesting. Um, it's homage to, and I think everybody has probably heard of Marjorie Rawling, Rollins, who wrote The Yearling. And uh, it's mixed media. It has photographs of her and also stamps, uh, postage stamps honoring her. Charles Manning uh, created this plein air painting called Retreat. Uh, it's a beautiful painting which uh, is depicting a natural, beautiful landscape uh, of Florida with tree limbs gracefully bending toward the ground, draped with gray Spanish moss, while clouds enhance the blue sky as the day's shadows advance. So you can see the time of day in this painting. It, it, it's such a peaceful retreat. I could look at this painting a long time. Now this one, uh, um, I notice that this is done digitally, but it is done with a infrared effect. It's by Greg Gleason. It is a very strong diagonal composition that goes from the top of the, the cupola down to the, and I presume that's a little outhouse. I was really fascinated by this piece. Um, it's a silkscreen or a serigraph uh, by Harris Wiltshire. It's called Dancing Crown. And uh, he, the artist has really created a three-dimensional effect that belies its two-dimensional surface. It's worn by a black lady who, who seems to be walking by the colorful African cloth headpiece. It just feels like it's dancing in the breeze. The second place is a ceramic piece. It is a pretty tall piece, which is not necessarily easy to do in ceramics. It is by Barbara Balzer, and it's called Carrying Memories Through the Floating World. You can't help but look at this sculpture and not feel the weight of emotion and inward effect of, of memories in a person's life. First place, is an encaustic piece, uh, which I, I thought was very, um, very effective. It's a large piece, it's 40 inches wide. An encaustic is a process of painting with wax, and often people use um, all sorts of materials with it. I think it's a very exciting painting. It's by Terry Corbett, uh, called Ninth Street Jazz. And, and the artist really skillfully guides your eyes from left to right and then back again, directed by her use of color and line. If you notice the pink, the pinks at the left, in the middle, at the right. And then your eye just keeps going back and forth between these round shapes, uh, rectangular, triangular, and then she has all sorts of different mark making, uh, thinner lines. So I just thought that her use of color and line was extraordinary. Drum roll, please. Best of show goes to Susanna Winton for Cigar Lady. It is a fairly large watercolor, 29 inches. It shows the extraordinary drawing and painting skills of Susanna Wilton. Um, it's a watercolor and she really makes the lady come alive with personality. Her colorful figure and flower basket are contrasted against a neutral and muted earthy background, and it makes the figures seem three-dimensional. If you notice that the background, if the background had been lots of color and everything, she wouldn't have stood out like she did. It's really a joyful, uh, it's a painting that just made me happy to look at. I really enjoyed it. So those were my choices.
I do hope that you will come and visit us here at the Gadsden Arts Center and Museum and view this beautiful exhibition of 69 artists from our local region. And we really have made this a safe space for you and a safe environment for you to come and visit. We require that you make your reservation either online or by giving us a call and we'll save your spot. And we hope to see you soon.